Good morning. This is PJ. These are the readings for Thursday, April 21st, 2022. With it being Thursday, we are changing up our psalm reading. Psalm 150 is going to be our psalm reading for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 1 through 23. And then our New Testament reading is going to be from the book of Acts, chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Let us listen in. First, from Psalm 150. Hallelujah. Praise God in His holy house of worship. Praise Him under open skies. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His magnificent greatness. Praise with a blast on the trumpet. Praise by the strumming of soft string. Praise Him with the caster nets and dance. Praise Him with banjo and flute. Praise Him with cymbals and a big bass drum. Praise Him with fiddles and mandolin. Let every living breath creature praise God. Hallelujah. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17, verses 1 through 23. The Philistines drew up their troops for battle. They deployed them at Sokah in Judah and set up camp between Sokah and Azekah at Ephesus Denaman. Saul and the Israelites came together, camped at Oak Valley, and spread out their troops in battle readiness for the Philistines. The Philistines were on one hill, the Israelites on the opposing hill, with the valley between them. A giant, nearly ten feet tall, stepped out from the Philistine line into the open. Goliath from Gath. He had a bronze helmet on his head and was dressed in armor. A hundred and twenty-six pounds of it. He wore bronze shin guards and carried a bronze sword. His spear was like a fence rail. The spear tip alone weighed over 15 pounds. His shield bearer walked ahead of him. Goliath stood there and called out to the Israelites' troop, Why bother using your whole army? Am I not Philistine enough for you? And you're all committed to Saul, aren't you? So pick your best fighter and pit him against me. If he gets the upper hand and kills me, the Philistines will all become your slaves. But if I get the upper hand and kill him, you'll all become our slaves and serve us. I challenge the troops of Israel this day. Give me a man and let us fight it out together. When Saul and his troops heard the Philistines' challenge, they were terrified, and they lost all hope. Enter David. He was the son of Jesse the Epaphrite from Bethlehem in Judah. Jesse, the father of eight sons, was himself too old to join Saul's army. Jesse's three oldest son had followed Saul to war. The names of the three sons who had joined up with Saul was Eliab, the firstborn, Next, Abinad, and third, Shema. David was the youngest. While his three oldest brothers went to war, Saul, David, went back and forth from attending to Saul to tending his father's sheep in Bethlehem. Each morning and evening for forty days, Goliath took his stand and made his speech. One day, Jesse told David his son, Take this sack of cracked wheat and these ten loaves of bread and run them down to your brothers in camp. And take these ten wedges of cheese to the captains of their division. Check in on your brothers and see whether they are all getting along all right. And let me know what they are doing. Saul and your brothers and all the Israelites in the war with Philistines in the Oak Valley. David was up at the crack of dawn and having arranged for someone to tend his flock. Took the food and was on his way just as Jesse had directed him. He arrived at camp just as the army was moving into battle formation, shouting the war cry. Israel and the Philistines moved into position, facing each other, battle ready. David left his bundles of food in the care of a sentry, ran to the troops who were deployed, and greeted his brothers. When they were 
talking together, the Philistine champion, Goliath of Gath, stepped up from the front lines of the Philistine and gave his usual challenge. David heard him. Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 5, verses 12 through 16. Through the work of the apostles, many God signs were set up among the people, many wonderful things done. They all met regularly in the remarkable harmony on the temple porch named after Solomon. But even though people admired them a lot, others were weary about joining them. On the other hand, those who put their trust in the master were added right and left, men and women both. They even carried the sick out into the street and laid them on the stretchers and bed rolls, hoping they wouldn't be touched by Peter's shadow when he walked by. They came from the villages surrounding Jerusalem, thongs of them, bringing the sick and bed evil, and they all were healed. And here ends our readings for the day.